Good morning, and welcome to our morning prayer service on this Tuesday of the last week of Easter. And it just so happens that today is the feast day of St. Augustine of Canterbury, the first Archbishop of Canterbury. And in our own church, we have a stained glass window of St. Augustine. And as it is indicated on the window itself, in 597, Pope Gregory the Great sent St. Augustine uh, to England as a missionary. And in 601, with the conversion of King Ethelbert, uh, he was consecrated as the first Archbishop of Canterbury. And this stained glass window has served as an inspiration for many, including Michael Ramsey, the 100th Archbishop of Canterbury, who, when he was touring the United States with his debate team uh, from Cambridge in 1925, actually attended Mass at our church. And it is here that he gazed upon this window and be, uh, became aware uh, of the Anglican tradition uh, outside of England, had a greater appreciation for that tradition. Uh, and it is written that, uh, among other things, gazing upon this window was one of the inspirations for why Michael Ramsey pursued holy orders in the Church of England. Our service of morning prayer, Rite 1, begins on page 42 of our Book of Common Prayer. O Lord, open thou our lips, and our mouth shall show forth thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. Please join me in reciting Christ our Passover on page 46 of our Book of Common Prayer. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with the old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. Alleluia. Christ being raised from the dead dieth no more, Death hath no more dominion over him. For in that he died, he died unto sin once. But in that he liveth, he liveth unto God. Likewise reckon ye also yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin, but alive unto God through Jesus Christ our Lord. Alleluia. Christ is risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. For since by man came death, by man came also the resurrection of the dead. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ all shall be made alive. Alleluia. Alleluia, the Lord is risen indeed. O come, let us adore him. Alleluia. The psalm appointed for this morning is Psalm 66, verses 1 through 8, found on page 673 of our Book of Common Prayer. Be joyful in God, all you lands. Sing the glory of his name. Sing the glory of his praise. Say to God, how awesome are your deeds. Because of your great strength, your enemies cringe before you. All the earth bounds down before you, sings to you, sings out your name. Come now and see the works of God, how wonderful he is in doing toward all people. He turned the sea into dry land, so that they went through the water on foot, and there we rejoiced in him. In his might he rules forever. His eyes keep watch over the nations. Let no rebel rise up against him. Bless our God, ye peoples. Make the voice of his praise to be heard, who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw great crowds around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side. A scribe then approached and said, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes and birds of the air have nests but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of his disciples said to him, Lord, first let me go and bury my father. But Jesus said to him, Follow me 
and let the dead bury their own dead. And when he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. A windstorm arose on the sea, so great that the boat was being swamped by the waves, but he was asleep. And they went and woke him up, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, you of little faith? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a dead calm. They were amazed, saying, What sort of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And now let us recite together Canticle 5, the Song of Simeon, found on page 51. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now let us recite together the Apostles' Creed on page 53. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us, and grant us thy salvation. And do thy ministers with righteousness, and make thy chosen people joyful. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in thee can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under thy care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let thy way be known upon earth, thy saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God and sustain us with thy Holy Spirit. O Lord our God, who by thy Son Jesus Christ didst call thine apostles and send them forth to preach the gospel to the nations, we bless thy holy name for thy servant Augustine, first Archbishop of Canterbury, whose labors in propagating thy church among the English people we commemorate today. And we pray that all whom thou dost call and send may do thy will, and bide thy time, and see thy glory, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee in the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. And now let us recite together a collect for peace on page 57. O God, who art the author of peace and lover of concord, in knowledge of whom standeth our eternal life, whose service is perfect freedom. Defend us, thy humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in thy defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And now let us recite together a prayer of St. Chrysostom on page 59. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication unto thee, and has promised through thy well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, that will be in the midst of them. 
Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth, and in the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all evermore. Amen.